Hey, it's Bernard Nomberg with the Nomberg Law Firm in Birmingham. And what I want to talk about for a few minutes is how to be successful in your first visit with the Workers' Compensation Authorized Treating Physician. That first office visit. It's very important. When you get in there into the waiting room, probably the first thing you'll do is fill out paperwork, history. They want to know all about you, your address, your name, all of those things. And they're going to ask, how did you get hurt? Well, that's the very first thing that you're going to indicate to the doctor's office. And eventually, everybody in the case is going to read this. The insurance adjuster, the defense attorney hired by the insurance company, maybe even the judge. So you need to indicate on that paperwork how you got hurt. The best that you can describe it, how you got hurt at work. It doesn't have to be fully comprehensive. Just put hurt at work or stepped in a, in a hole at work, hurt knee, whatever it is. You've got to be able to start from the beginning, indicate that. Then you get into the visit with your doctor. Now you're going to have a limited period of time. He's a brand new doctor to you. You're a brand new patient to him or to her. But they have probably 40, 50, 60 patients they might see in a given day. So they may or may not know much about your situation before you actually get in there. They, every situation is a little bit different. They might have seen an x-ray or an MRI or whatever, or they may be brand new. So when you're in there, you've got to be, remember, to be as concise and to be as organized in your thought process as you can. Be as thorough as you can. You're gonna be asked a series of questions. What's bothering you today? Well, you need to be able to describe all of your symptoms. What hurts? Where does it hurt? How often does it hurt? Don't be nervous. Just be able to communicate clearly with the doctor what's going on with you. Now, if today, the day you're actually seeing the doctor, certain things that had bothered you in the past, let's say that your knee had been aching for the last few days, you have a back injury, but your knee's been aching, you need to be able to tell the doctor, Today my knee is not bothering, but the last four or five days since I had this accident, that, that also has been bothering me. So be organized when you go in there. Maybe you write down everything that's been bothering you. And while you got your pad and your pen out, write down all of those questions that you have. You're not going to think of everything. It also may be helpful if you take a friend or a family member in there with you. Somebody who knows your situation. Again, you're going to be a little nervous. There's not going to be a ton of time for you to be able to communicate with the doctor while they're looking you over and asking you those questions. So maybe having another set of eyes, another person who knows your situation, knows about your work, knows about your history, may be able to, to be helpful as, as well. The last thing you want is when you get out of that visit and the doctor's already given you his or her assessment, you forget something. Oh, I meant to ask the doctor this. Well, that happens quite frequently, and if that does happen, go to the doctor's nurse. They're usually a little bit more available than the doctor who's probably already in the next appointment. Also, before you leave that doctor's visit, now we're talking about the very first visit, make sure you know what the plan is going forward. Are you supposed to have diagnostic testing? Are you supposed to have x-rays? Or are they setting you up for physical therapy or shots or medicine? Look over that work status form. In that, it's, it's basically, it summarizes the doctor or the nurse will check off and write on that form what's next. Make sure you look it over before you walk out because it'll tell you maybe there's prescriptions to pick up, physical therapy to set up, another appointment, surgery, whatever it is. That form, once it's filled out and signed by the doctor, I suggest you take a picture of it and keep it on your phone. A copy of it will need to go to your employer as soon as you can. Don't rely on the doctor's office to do it. And a copy will need to go to your lawyer if you've hired one. Keep it in your file for, good, for safekeeping. Those are just a few uh, helpful hints and ideas and things when you're going. It's pretty stressful to see the doctor for the first time. But if you have questions or concerns about this, just give us a call. We have other related videos that we can also share about how to deal with the doctors and what to expect. 205-930-6900 is our office number. Nomberglaw.com is our website. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and tell us why. 
And if you didn't, we'd like to hear about that as well. And subscribing to this channel will ensure that you get future videos. We also can be found on Facebook and Twitter.